Now that we have a web form that can submit files for uploading, we now need to learn how to process those files. And the first step is going to be to understand what's being submitted and to inspect the uploaded file that comes across. In order to do that, we're going to need to look at another super global. We've looked at a bunch of them already. We saw get, post, cookie, session, and server. Well, there's one more, which is called files. And files is going to contain any uploaded files submitted with the post request. So it's not going to be found in the post super global. Files will get split off and they'll get pushed into the file super global separate. All of our other post variables will still be in post. Just files will be in files. The way we're going to access those is to say, well, what is the name of that form input field? In our case, it was file upload. And dollar sign underscore files, and then in square brackets, and then the name of the field that was submitted will give us back an associative array. And that array is going to contain five pieces of data. It's going to have the name of the file, its original file name on the user's machine. It's going to have the type of file that it was, the MIME type that gets sent when it's sent by the browser, the size and bytes of the file, the temporary name where the file was stored on the server, and the error code that goes with it. And we'll take a look at errors in the next movie. For now, let's focus on the other four. The example at the bottom there will show the syntax of how we're going to pull back a single one of those items. File upload name would then be the original file name, and we could make use of it. We could change it, or we could keep the same name. It's up to us. But that's where we'll get that value. One great way for you to see this array and what it looks like is to just try it out. So we have our form. For our form processing, instead of actually doing any real form processing at this point, let's just output something. And we're going to just put in pre-tags. That's going to basically respect the white space formatting. It's an HTML thing. And even though we're not inside the HTML, we could drop this down here inside the body. For now, we're just going to put it up here at the top. It's not perfectly valid HTML, but that's OK. Pre-tags. Print R, which will print out the array for us that's there, and then file upload, and then we'll put an HR tag at the end. So let's just try this out and see what we get back. So if I open up Firefox, here I am with upload.php. I'll just reload the page. You'll see I get my HR tag. Browse, and I'll just go into B2B Sandbox for now, and I will go and just find um, file test.txt. That was the file we were practicing writing to earlier. And I'm going to send that. And you'll see it puts the whole path here for where that file is located. And when I click Upload, it's going to send that file right away. Now notice here, it's not an image file. This is not unique to sending images. It's any kind of file we want. It can be text file, Excel file, Word document, any file gets sent the same way. So here we click Upload, and look what we get back. We get the same form again, but our output at the top says, all right, here's the contents of that array. The file name is filetest.txt. No path or anything, just the file name. The type, text slash plain. If it had been an image, it might have said that it was a JPEG, for example. The temp name, this is where the file is stored. Notice that that's a full path. For me, that's being stored in the system's default temp directory, which is slash private slash var slash temp. Yours is very possibly in a different location. But notice that the name of the file is something crazy that it came up with. PHP WH6FOZ. That's where the file is on my server. I need to get that temp name if I want to look at that file, if I want to move that file or do anything with it, I'm going to need to reference that item in the array to find out the name of the file. The error you'll see is zero, which means that there were no errors, and the size of the file is 14 bytes. So that's all there is to it. So this demonstrates to you what that array looks like. Now in the next movie, we'll take a little bit of a closer look at some of the possible upload errors that you could come across before we look at moving the uploaded files and working with those.